Hello everyone and welcome to my very first sketchbook tour. So I couple couple of days ago I posted on my Facebook, my Twitter, and TikTok on which sketchbook you guys wanted me to tour first. And I decided to choose a bunch of old sketchbooks that I had inside a bin in the attic. And this one seemed to be the most popular one, so I'm going to do this one first. Now keep in mind I have not looked at this sketchbook since sometime after college. And if I had to take a guess, this sketchbook was used during college, probably more later college. So that, that's probably between 2015 to 2017. So yeah, I have no idea what's in here. But judging by the quality, it was probably more like a, what I call an ugly sketchbook, where I just, where I just make, sketch a bunch of random ideas. There's nothing super complete in here, if I had to guess. Um, before I dive into it, I notice there's some stickers on here. Obviously I got this one from voting in the 2016 election. But these two, I have no idea where they're from. Or who the artist is. I remember getting them at the Scranton Zine Festival in 2017, but outside of that, I don't remember. Like I don't remember who made them. If you know who the artists are, please comment so I can link them in the description. Anyways, let's begin. I'm a little scared. Um, make sure I get the whole thing. So right off the bat we have some more stickers. <laughs> Again, I don't know who made these. I think this one is uh, her name, their name is Sammy, I think. Or no, well their username has Sammy in it. I'm not really good with names, but I'll link them. There we go. Now, oh, 2018. I guess this is a lot really later than I thought it was. Looks like I was doing some pose practice. More pose pet practice. I think I probably got I think I got these off of um off of Pinterest. I like to go on Pinterest and just try to copy or not copy, but I, I try to redraw random photographs. Random ladies. So I was practice some sort of background over here. Um, the world is not beautiful, therefore it is. That's from the anime Kino's Journey, which to this day that quote kind of speaks to me. Some character that I don't really remember who that person is. Again, more sketching. Huh. I don't really know what's going on. I, I, I was screwing around a lot with colored pencils, it seems like. That looks like it's that's Usagi from Sailor Moon. Some frogs. I mean, this is the start of my little frog obsession. How are you feeling today? Oh, just fine. You sure? Tired? Confused? Homesick? Worried? You know, actually looking at this, this was when I lived in Arkansas for like three months, which that's a whole story on its own. And I will just say that out of everything I've ever experienced in my life, living in Arkansas for just three months made me so depressed. And I wish I could erase that time period in my brain. This looks like a sketch for a painting. I remember my grandma wanted me to paint her her two um, dogs that passed away, uh, Rowdy and Amy. And I guess I was trying to figure out what sort of flowers I wanted to use for the border. Some more sketches. This looks like I have, and this over here was me. Um, writing out ideas for a, a graphic novel that I haven't really thought about in a while. Maybe I'll try to get back into it. Uh, 
I don't know. What is this? I, I don't know what that is. But over here, <laughs> when I was living in Arkansas, where we lived specifically, the food choices were awful. And I was just craving all this stuff that I didn't have. I mean, I know I can make rice and fish and all that, but... Um, I was missing the little Goya Maria cookie as I, my, I would buy from the store. I really wanted sushi. There's like no sushi places where we were. I was just thinking about stuff I would eat back home that I wasn't really eating in Arkansas. That same character from before. It must have been a character I was making that I haven't really um, worked on in a while. My more more depressive sketches. When I was staying in Arkansas, I, sometimes I would imagine people in Arkansas like as these weird like one-eyed alien people because I felt very I felt like an outsider, you know. I like that a lot. I must have tucked that from a photograph or something. Sketches. There's a lot of there's a lot of just silly sketches in here. It doesn't look like there's anything of note. More sketches. Screwing around a lot with Copic markers. Hmm. This is just, these are all notes for a comic that I made for a zine. I don't think I have. I might actually have a comic in here somewhere, but. Oh, that's pretty interesting. I need to do more stuff like this again. Like, I used to love screwing around with, like, colors and... Just not really giving a shit, you know? <laughs> also, the majestic Unipenguin. The Unipenguin is an old animal that my sister's friend made up and requested for me to draw. It looks like I drew some kitties. more kitties and myself as a cartoon. This was an Inktober, it's hard, I, I'm afraid to flip it, but this is an Inktober picture. I was trying to do like cat, I found a prompt called Cattober, but I didn't, because I was so depressed in Arkansas, I didn't really, I only did a couple of prompts. Here's another one. Actually, that's, that's pretty cute. It's like one, it's supposed to be one of those Japanese cheesecakes, I think. Some alien kitties. This would be fun to remake, I think. I'm not really proud of this one, but it could be potentially cute. Some writings for a D&D &D character of mine. Another Cattober. This was based off of Starbound, the game. There's like a boss in the game. Like a, if I remember correctly, it was like a giant monkey head or something. They had a fight, and I took that boss fight and just turned it into cats. A big cat is watching instead of whatever it said before. And then I made a candy corn cat, which I actually still like a lot. I still think it's adorable. This would be another fun one to make. Maybe I'll remake it around Halloween. Um, girl joining a little cat Percino. 
the witch lady or whatever. Cats with fruit hats, I guess. Um, this, these are doodles of a uh, me and my friend's D and D character. She played a. I don't know if there's a name for the race, but some weird like cat humanoid. Well, maybe not humanoid, but it was basically a cat, like a rogue cat, and I was a weird bear character. I don't remember the names of the races, though. All I know is that her name was Basil. These two cats, um, I think this is actually the last cat, the last cat Toger drawing I did. Um, there's this YouTube channel I watch called Rachel and June, and there's a video where they buy these little fruit hats for their cats. So I basically just took, like, picture, like, pic photos of, from that video, just redrew it. Ah, uh, yes, Neopets art. Me doing some comic writing, I guess. Some vent art, I think. I hope you guys can see the pencil. I, I do a lot of pencil drawings in here, apparently. Some more figure studies. Oh, uh... Huh, I, think, I just realized the the ink must have somehow bled on here, but it's yellow? That's weird. But yeah, this is a D&D &D sheet. Huh. Didn't realize I did that. Oh, this is one... This is one of the first pictures of Sophie. Oh my gosh. She looks... She looks a lot different now compared to what she, how I draw her nowadays. This might have been like, the, oh my gosh, I don't even, I don't even have words for this to be honest. But she has changed a lot. Man, this, I'm not gonna lie, this sketchbook's not as great as I hoped it would be, but it's still kind of fun. Millie starts her first day at her new school. The catch? She's the only human. Everyone else? They're aliens. What? <laughs> I don't remember this idea. But I kind of well, look at this little guy right here. He kind of reminds me of the Nova Kids from Starbound. That's probably, honestly, I probably just kind of ripped that off from Starbound because around this time I was playing that game with my friends. But honestly, that would be... Honestly, this would be kind of a cute, silly comic idea. More Sophie drawings or sketches. Sophie was my very first tiefling character, and at the like when I was around this time, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to draw her because every time I drew her, she looked so alien-like, and that's not what I was trying to go for. The eyes were what like threw me off, but eventually I figured out how to draw her. I guess I drew her nude because she's a little, um, she likes to sleep around sometimes. Sorry, I like drawing boobs and girls. It's still true. I don't know what it is, but it's just so much fun. I don't know what's going on here. I was sad about something, but who knows what it was. I guess this is more of that comic idea that I don't remember, because that looks like another one of the Nova Kid people. I really wish I could remember. I guess more figure drawing stuff. I think this was for a draw in your style challenge, but I never actually completed it. Oh gosh, this is backwards. <sighs> That's a little creepy. I don't like those eyes at all. Like, ugh. Little honeybee. Yeah, around this time I was trying so hard to be creative because I was just so depressed. And... I think this is the most I could muster at the time. 
Oh oh. I guess this was more D and D notes, and there's some boobs. Sorry, spare the children. I guess. Now uh, this was a character for a little comic I was going to make about a beekeeper, and like her grandma took care of a garden and she died. And I don't know. There's like this weird thing with beekeepers where like, what was it? I don't remember. I, I'm sorry, I'm not really good at explaining this. Oh, that's weird. Actually, I think around this time, I discovered something called candy gore, which is gore, but like cutesy. Like every, the guts and the blood were like either candy or like something. I don't know. And for some reason, I felt like attempting to do some candy gore pictures, but uh. It's an Arcsylvania comic. Which, oh yeah, I didn't, speaking of that, when I, before, when my then boyfriend, who's now my husband, moved to Arkansas, I used to make these little comics. Because we, our relationship went long distance for a while before I moved down there with him. This one was made after I moved down, but I think the rest of this is probably a lot of Arcsylvania drawings. And honestly, I, I don't, I'm not going to lie, I don't enjoy this period of my life. I don't like looking back on it too much. Again, whatever, whatever, like, um, ink I was using is definitely, like, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's, like, yellow. Like, you can see, I don't, I don't know what happened. Hmm. This is a comic of his, we were staying with his cousin in Arkansas, and he had two cats, and I did a little comic about the cats. Oh, here's the comic I was talking about for the, um, the cat comic I was making for the scene. So this was like the storyboard of it, and then, I wonder if I can... I don't have all of them here, I guess, but this was the this is the last page. It's basically the zine was accepting submissions. It's called Cat Party, and the theme was either lost or found. And this comic is about the, the cats that I lost in a house fire when I was in high school. And after the shortly after the house fire, I started having dreams that my one cat was telling me he was still alive. So like this is sort of like a semi autograph semi autographical comic. Maybe I'll link the comic in the description if you are curious to actually read it. Sorry, I'm just kind of breezing through these, but this is the sketch for that one. Excuse me, that one Cattober uh, comic or not comic? That one Cattober drawing. Also, I think this is Fenrir. I, I draw, love drawing Fenrir from Norse mythology. This was a comic about me getting my wedding dress, which I don't know where the other pages are. <laughs> and this was probably for Arcsylvania too, but no oh, cicada. I'm still, I'm still waiting. Like, I don't know if the cicada invasion is happening in my area, but if it is, I want to see it so bad. I want to see millions of cicadas. Now this was something that was um, like a, not meme, but like a trend going on Instagram at the time. Where you list your quirks. I'm afraid to use matches and lighters. I've gotten better at it, but for the longest time after the house fire, like even just using a lighter, like I made me un super scared. My pointer fingers are oddly bent. See if you can see it. It's like a weird. And then I have a bad habit of walking on my tiptoes, which I am also, t I still try not to, but sometimes I can't help it. 
Um, and then this is another storyboard for that cat comic. Huh. Well, this, I guess I was, I think I was trying to make a, I was trying to make a update for Arcsylvania because I posted it on Webtoons. Because I didn't post for like a long time and I kind of wanted to give it a proper ending and I did not, I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever um, actually made it and posted it. So if you were an Arcsylvania viewer, I apologize. I probably will never touch it ever again because I, again, do not wish to remember that part of my life very much. This is the beginning of the cat comic. <laughs> Again, I'll post the actual comic if you want to view it because it's the actual comic. I scanned it and then colored it digitally. I was trying to go for a different style because I wasn't too happy with how I drew people. So I tried like this weird, like I tried drawing eyes differently. I, I honestly, I still think it looks kind of weird. Man, I really tried hard on like the freaking the backgrounds and stuff. Yeah, it's what this. I don't know what this is. It has again another Arcsylvania thing. Because usually, what I used to do is that I would I would uh, draw and ink it traditionally, and then scan it and color it and add text digitally so i don't know what this is i hope it's i don't think it's anything important now but this is again my more neopet art my witchy ixy lorena i still go on neopets once in a while i i kind of binge it like i'll go on it like obsessively for like a month and then i stop <laughs> This is a sketch for, excuse me, this is a sketch for a drawing or for a painting I was doing for somebody. Honestly, I think this sketch looks better than the actual painting. I don't have it anymore, but it was like one of my earlier attempts at watercolor. I guess that's the end. Again, these stickers are also from the, uh, from the Zine Fest in 2017. And more zine fest. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope my other sketchbooks are a little bit more interesting to be honest. This one was not what I was expecting at all but I will film more in the future. Have a good day.